What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and last time you checked in we went to the uh, power plant up here got another legendary Pokemon uh, The name escapes me right now, but it's in my Pokemon box and uh, oh I can scroll down I've been sending everything to the professor It'd be like whatever whatever send them all I can send some electrodes though uh, and Voltorbs, uh, but this is it Zapdos uh, right here, a new legendary Pokemon. I don't know if I'll be using him because I already have Pikachu, which is an electricity type. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna probably, I'm gonna send these over to the, uh, the professor. Um, send to professor. And I don't, I don't want to mess up and send anything that I already, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Let's send, uh, this guy, maybe this guy, no, no, we do not want to send Porygon. I don't know how else to get one. Yeah, oh, man, I'm so confused on which ones to send. I have a Squirtle. Don't want to send that, obviously. <laughs> so I can go get uh, Charmander. You guys want me to go get Charmander, right? I can send Magnemite, probably one of these, a couple of these, maybe all of them. I probably won't use Electrode. Anyway, let's just send these to the Professor. Maybe uh, that guy. This is my uh, my my uh, Karate dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just send these. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Send. These are the ones I want to send the professor. Perfect. Everything's good. Nice. Got some more candies. Again, I'm gonna be applying my candies to my Pokemon. Uh, you know, more towards the end of the game, which we're getting pretty close to, to be honest. Uh, in fact, let's look at our bag. We're gonna travel over to um, the area where the eighth gym should be. The eighth gym is going to be, I think, in Viridian City. Is that what you guys told me? Uh, one thing that we could do though before doing that, uh, I think Route 24, maybe 25 has, uh, no, maybe, hold on, which one's Route 20 whatever, the one with Charmander, there it is, we're gonna travel up here, go north, I think uh, Charmander's give, being given away up here, and so let's go, and you guys in the comments have been keeping a pretty good list of things I need to do in this game, so, you know, keep checking things off, and if I forget to do them or showcase something in a particular episode, just let me know in the comments. Again, just keep your list going. I do appreciate it. I do read them. Um, uh oh, I want to apologize. I uh, accidentally up uploaded a, a video last episode that had uh, the audio out of sync, and that was uh, not good. Not good. Oh, there's my free Charmander, right? Hey, buddy. He's mine. He's mine. How what level do you think he is? I'm not good. I feel so, so, so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. I want to give you... Are you interested? So sure, I'll take him. I'll take him. Thank you. 94. Yeah, sure. Give me the Charmander. Yes. Give it to me. Take good care of my Charmander. Sure. All right. Give him to me. This is the first time I got a Charmander. Uh, his data is going to be added to the Pokedex. He is... What level is he? I don't know. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. Okay. What I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I don't really use a dog a lot. Uh, right now so what I want to go ahead and do is go to my bag and, and switch him out for that dog I do like him uh, but you know I need to level him up a little bit so you're gonna leave my party a dog and Charmander is gonna go in for a little bit at least he's level 14 okay add to the party he'll have to level up quick I guess um, we've been using everyone else pretty decently I think um, in fact we could put Charmander I could move him uh, to the very front. <laughs> this is going to hopefully level him up quickly, but we're never going to be using him in a real battle. So, <laughs> that's just something to note. Um, now what I want to do... Uh, you guys also told me... I don't know where it is. But there is... Uh, I, I kept... Huh, let me see. I, I don't know if it will tell me. Where was the daycare center? I'm trying to remember. There was a daycare somewhere, and I don't remember where it is. Well, let me know where that is, and I'll go. Uh, there's also, man, I don't know where he is. Probably move, tutor. Power plant, I've been there. Rock tunnel. Yeah, so I got to go pick up my dude that I dropped off at the daycare center. Diglett's Cave, Viridian Forest. Eesh, I don't know, dude. I really don't know, but we need to go here to Viridian City, and... Um, as we go over here, I think this is where the eighth gym is. I was gonna say, uh, I li like so yeah, I had to re-upload the video that had uh, the sync issues, and that was really sad because I I basically lose all those views from the old video. So 
and all those comments and views from the old video. So if you wanted to leave a comment or you don't mind watching the previous video again, if you have time, I wouldn't mind you doing that. That would help me out tremendously. Um, where is the gym here? Have I been? I've been here, right? Surely I've been here. Where is the gym? Oh, it was probably here. I probably had to cut. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cut it down. Because I just now learned this. Uh, I mean, I did not just now learn this, but I, when I was first here... Well, this doesn't look like the path. No, what? When I was first here... Okay, that was that was useless. When I was first here... <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm saying. When I was first, Where is the gym here? Trainer tips. Okay, I don't know where the gym is. Let me go heal my Pokemon really quick, because if I do find that gym... I want to I wanna be healed all the way. So sure, go ahead and rest it. I heard that it was here that we got to go. Am I mixing it up? Am I getting it wrong? I really hope not. I kind of wish it would rest every single Pokemon. Even the ones like... Th does it rest the ones not in my bag? Like if I were to like... Let's say a dog was injured or whatever. I don't know, I don't know the answer to that. Um. Okay, so... Where's the gym? Anyone want to talk to me and tell me where this gym is? Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> okay, just ignore me. Rough start today, huh? <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hey. What is up, my friends, my pals? Huh, why is the door locked? Open sesame. Great. Huh, yeah, I guess that isn't gonna work. Man. Oh, hey, Z-Dog. Sheesh. Say something if you're standing there. <laughs> watching me act all embarrassing like that. I'm here. I'm watching. Well, never mind that. So how many gym badges you got these days? I got seven. Seven? Then it looks like we're even. All that's left now is the Viridian City Gym. Same for you, right? But this place is never open. I guess we gotta tell someone that we haven't been able to get into the gym. But who should we talk to? Talk to P-Dog. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, makes sense. If I could understand anything you said, this is getting us nowhere. Uh, Professor Oak. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Let's go see if he knows anything. Okay, so that's why you guys wanted me to go see Professor Oak. He was supposed to give me an item or something. Oh, this guy again. Oh, if it isn't Z-Dog and Kevin. You two are both looking a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have impeccable timing as usual. Let me introduce you. This is my grandson. Mm, what was his name now? Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. Would you give it a break? And besides, we've already met. My own grandson, you're no fun. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. Z-Dog, Kevin, you two did awesome. Huh? With Team Rocket. I never thought that their boss would actually be holed up there in, at Silphco, and the two of you managed to take him down. No, it wasn't me. Z-Dog beat Giovanni all by himself. All I did was help out a bit. So what? You and your Pokemon did your best, too, right, Kevin? So I've got a little something for you two as a reward for your hard work. I got the keystone from Blue. What does it do? Oh, that not that a keystone? A stone that can trigger an evolution that transcends all ev other evolutions. Mega evolution. Mega evolution, what's that? If you have both a keystone and the right mega stone, you can make a Pokemon mega evolve in battle. Just one time per battle though. Your Pokemon will get all powered up to battle hard for you. Mega Evolution is proof of the strong bond between a Pokemon and its trainer. <clears throat> a brief poem, if I may. When two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we Mega Evolve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the two of you should be able to use these, uh, well, they are Mega Stones. Okay, so I got the Venusarite uh, Char Charizardite X, uh, Charizardite Y, and the uh, Blast Toys and Night. You gotta take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Give these a try when you do. Okay, maybe I will. Thanks for that. So, you two are so close to the Pokemon League now. Just one last push. Oh, but what? Okay, well, hold on. But what are you even doing back here in Pallet Town? What? Viridian City's gym leader is never at the gym? Huh, that's odd. Maybe I'll go take a look for myself. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Evolution. Man, if Team Rocket had used a thing like that, they'd have been in even bigger pain. Alright, well. Well. What's up, my fellow buddy cop? Pikachu! Pikachu! What's going on? Pikachu! 
What's in there? Oh, if it isn't Pikachu. You wanna know what I'm doing? I'm picking flowers. I'm going to make a bouquet for someone very important. Is it me? Is it me? I'm important. But it's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Z Dog? Well, that's right. Um, the Viridian City gym leader came back to the gym at last. That's what people are saying. You should out head off to Viridian City. Pick a flower, Pikachu. Pick a pick a Pikachu. All right. Whoa, jeez, that scares me sometimes. What kind of what, what flowers? Oh, that's right. Um, okay, yeah. So he's back at the gym. Uh, you know, I could just fast travel there. And I think that's what I'll do. Uh, look in the back, fast travel over, and uh, we'll get it done. Um, I don't know. Maybe this won't be a super long episode. I really don't know how long it's going to be, but we're going to uh, Viridian City. Here we go. And I still have, uh, you know, some more legendary Pokemon to get, so let me know in the comments below where they are. I can always look them up, but I like it when you guys tell me. I like going off of your advice and kind of tailoring my videos around your suggestions. Uh, hey, old man. I never did talk to you. The Viridian City Gym Leader has returned. Who is it? It'd be funny if it was blue. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, what? I'm, I'm confused. Who is it? I don't see anyone. Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know who the Viridian City Gym Leader is. But one thing's certain. You're qualified to challenge a Gym Leader because you have seven badges. The Gym Leader will be stronger than any other trainers you've ever faced. Also, I heard that the trainers here are users of ground-type Pokemon. Oh, great. Ground type. So that means uh, I can't really use Pikachu. Uh, but if I do want to take on ground, you know, water, grass, ice, those things. Water, grass, ice. I could give... Let's see. Do I have a water attack? Hold on. I have... I don't think I have any water attacks on me. But Venusaur knows grass moves. A dog, of course, knows ice moves. Hmm, I could teach M Dog Scald again. I could actually, you know, with Pikachu not being very useful, maybe I could just. No, he has a water move, that's right. But man, against ground, they could really hurt me. Um. I don't know. Let, let me think really quick. Well, let's just leave it like this. I think. Sure. Here we go. We're going to move on. Any particular order, any particular direction. I can't go there quite yet. Uh, this is a huge mess. Let's go over here. Hello? Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. No, it won't. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't want it to. Alright, you were challenged by Tamer Cole. Uh, Nidorino. Is that a ground type? It might be. Hold on. Uh, no, it's a poison, so it's weak to psychic and ground. So I'm gonna switch out Charmander, obviously. I got a ground here. We just want Charmander to get experience for being there, you know? Poison jab, oh no. I'm weak against poison, aren't I? No, I'm not, Never mind. I'm strong against poison, <laughs> sorry, wrong. Opposite day. Uh, we got Earthquake for you though, here we go. All right. Boom! Did a Reno. Adios. Super effective. Of course, my Pokemon are all pretty strong. Charmander got a lot. He grew to level 15 already. All right, good for him. Uh, Rhyhorn. Now this is a ground type, so I would switch. Uh, yeah, let, let's uh, switch Pokemon. You know, I could try to give it to Venusaur, see if he can uh, level up. I'm a little confused on how to use the the whole. Mega Evolution stuff. I don't even know how to do it. I should rename him V-Dog, because I, you know, he's my V-Dog, right? Fight. Uh, oh, there it is. Mega Evolution. I could try it out. Is it once per battle, though? Let's do Mega Evolution. Uh, sure. Pedal Dance. Mega Evolution. Pe pedal Dance. Oh, here we go. Oh, we get to see something crazy. I look awesome. I guess. <laughs> I grew like a bigger flower. All right, super effective. He fainted. And so that's once per battle? It'd be funny if it was once ever. <laughs> no, but that, that worked out pretty good. The camera is kind of too high for me to really see the details, so we got to see him evolve, and then that was that. Uh, move? <laughs> Wait, I only lost because I underestimated you. That's why people lose sometimes. 
Uh, okay. So, yeah. No, we're not going to be able to... Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. It's really pushing us through here. Boom. Hit the wall. Okay, what's up, my dude? Oh, here he goes. The Viridian City Gym was closed for a long time, but now our gym leader is back. Maybe it's Professor Oak. I don't even know. I'm guessing. I don't know the story. Like I said, I never played the original Pokemon. Samuel is going to send someone out. Nido King. So, yeah, I mean, I would switch to uh, my ground type to hit him. And then hopefully uh, Charmander will get some more experience. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> You're dead, dude. If you even tried that, Charmander, you would die. All right, switch to this. We got a, probably a, a ground-based move ready for you. You can do it. Oh, what the what? Ow. Give me a big headache. That's okay. I'm going to take it out on you with Earthquake. Wait, he did Earthquake to me? What? What? Okay. Weird. I'm, I'm confused. But hey, we leveled up Charmander 16. And 17. Alright, Samuel's been beaten. I was beaten. <laughs> yes, yes you were. I have new t-shirts available, by the way. Oh, Charmander's evolving already. Excellent. Now, do I give him a Firestone to evolve, or... What's the deal? I don't know. There he goes. Looking pretty good, right? He's a Charmeleon. Learning any moves? All right. He uh, tough fights could excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may breathe out bluish-white flames. That's hot or fire, right? Okay. Uh, so this is one way to go. This is another. Or is this? Like, oh, this I know where this is gonna take me. Okay, to you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. Not really. I don't think so. I will probably take my Pokemon to be healed though, because I took some significant damage already. It's just easier to go, you know, outside and Dug Trio. Hold on, Dug Trio's here. That's a ground type, right? So we're talking. Uh, it's gonna be weak against water, ice, and grass. It's a ground steel. Well, get ready, cause we got. Uh, we could do the Venusaur again, maybe. I should rename it to V-Dog. I mean, it's making a pretty significant uh, place in my party, especially with the Mega Evolution. Earthquake against me. Tell me it doesn't hurt too bad. It hurts a lot. Uh, it was just normal, though. Oh, my gosh. So, Mega Evolution. Pedal Dance. Here we go. We get to see this again. So, the I got a thing on my head. The flower is bigger. I mean, he's using Earthquake on me first. You want to do that to someone who just mega evolved, would ya? He would. Evil. Well, uh, here. You know what? A Dog 2 makes the most sense, honestly. I just wanted to maybe see if I could give uh, Venusaur another shot at this. So, prepare for an Ice Beam. Whatever. Slash doesn't bother me too much. But Ice Beam sure is going to bother you. So yeah, I got my t-shirt shop set up. Uh, it's super cool. You guys should get some before Christmas. <laughs> All right. Rhyhorn. Okay, so we're no. We're going to keep battling. We're going to blast him with another Ice Blast. Ice Beam. Sorry. There you go. There we go. Super effective. All right. Level 18 for Charmeleon. Yuji's been beaten. He ran out of gas. You know, I'm getting close. I'm, I will go ahead and heal. Just leave and heal. What's this, though? Revive. Okay, yeah, I could revive, but I could just leave. Like, I, that's the thing about this game, uh, about Pokemon games in general. Like, why use items when you can just leave? <laughs> I think just go next door. Um, let's see. Is it next door? No, it's not exactly next door. It's a little hop, skip, and one long jump away. That's a saying, I'm sure. It's in an Ozma song, if not. 
So what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna go talk to her. Where's the Pokemon baby daycare thing? I'm gonna Google that really quick while this is healing. Pokemon, let's go daycare location. There we go. Sorry, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, route five, okay. Got it, that's easy. Google is my friend. Honestly, my best friend. I talk to Google more than I talk to anyone. <laughs> all right, thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. Thanks for having me. I hope to see you again as well. So Route 5, I'll go to Route 5, pick up my... Was it a Clefairy I left there? I don't even know. Back up, no big deal. And so what is going to be the plan here, huh? Let's go back. That's the plan. That's always been the plan. Alright. Hit that wall. Go this way now. I don't really have control here, do I? I fought... Yeah, I fought that already. Alright, another trainer here. Hello. A truly strong trainer wins with style. I don't know what style means in this game. <laughs> Ace Trainer Kelly, though. What's she going to send out? Nidoqueen! Queen. So Nidoqueen Queen is uh, a ground poison, psychic water, ice ground. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring out a dog too. Hope that she's starting with a ground attack, so I can avoid it. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> yeah, earthquake does not affect me, does it? Ice beam, though, will affect you. Even though you're blue, you're gonna get torn through with the ice beam. Super effective. All right, well, we know what's up. That's a lot of experience. Charmeleon's 19. Venusaur's 40. Excellent, I lost my grip. <laughs> yeah, you did. Get a grip. No, I don't know. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's go this, no, wait a second. Oh, wait a darn second. Wait a darn minute. Okay, I get it, I get it. And I'm getting dizzy. I see what you mean by the gas analogy. I'm getting real dizzy here. All right. Oh, no, oh this person, oh, I get it. I didn't know, realize they moved. Weird, so two people here. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. What kind of music? What kind of Pokemon makes music? Tamer Jason. Sand Sand Slash doesn't make any music. What are you talking about? I don't believe it. Not one bit. Let me switch out here. Again, again. I'm just here getting Charmeleon some experience. I just got him. Trying to, you know, add some variety to each and every episode. That's kind of my whole style on YouTube. Each time I make a new episode of something, I'm trying to think about, well, how can I show something that maybe is new, something I haven't seen before? What they're going to dig? <laughs> uh, okay, what are my, my other moves here? Mirror Coat, what is this? Sure, Mirror Coat. Counters any special attack. Here we go, Mirror Coat failed, okay. We'll get ready for Ice Beam then. Protect. Great. Well, here comes Ice Beam that you're going to protect yourself with. And what? Can you use it? I'm going to do it again. Here we go. This is what you were asking for. Freeze your little tummy. Super effective. Good job to me. Uh, okay. Awesome. Tamer Jason in perfect harmony. Uh, let's, oh, yeah, I was gonna talk to you, Ryu. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. That'd be funny if he was the gym leader. Like, I just beat him and it's like, no big deal. He's like, oh, okay, you want, here's your badge. Especially if <laughs> Black Belt Takashi only has one Pokemon. Graveler, hey, I like Graveler. In fact, I have a uh, Golem, Golem. And so, here we go again. You know what I'm gonna do, right? A dog, two. A dog too. He's carrying the team this round. Beautiful bird, right? Earthquake doesn't mess with me, but Ice Beam messes with you. 
break up the rocks. All right, awesome. Anyone else happy about this? Me too. Oh, level 20 for Carmillion already. Wants to learn the move Fury Swipes. Uh, yeah, what, what? It's another normal move. The target is raked with sharp claws. Uh, two to five times in a row. Smoke screen. Uh. Huh. Sure, smoke screen, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, dude. I don't even like Fury Swipes anymore. Anyway. There we go. Beat him. So now we're gonna move up uh, north, right? We're gonna find out who the gym leader is. Why should it be like, oh, whoa. Oh, what? It's Giovanni? I had no clue. I fought him like so many times already. Anything in this uh, flower, <laughs> in this thing? That's so cool. All right, my dude, how are you? It's been a while. I had literally had no idea he was the gym leader. He looks cool though, right? Team Rocket. Wahaha, <laughs> welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more then. You shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Is he really a gym leader? We'll see. All right, he has four Pokemon. Doug Trio, we know what we need to do with that. We need to switch. Again, Tr Carmelian is just here. He's like, hello, I know that I'm no... Imagine how he feels. I send him out to battle every round, and he sees the enemy, he's like, oh my god, there's no way I can beat them. And I pull him back. I'm, just, I'm gonna give him PTSD. Let's go ahead and switch. He's like, oh, thank god. Thank god. <laughs> All right, here we go. Slash is gonna hurt me a little bit, not too much. But Ice Blast, Ice Beam should get him. Another, come on, don't slash me twice, you dork. Nice. All right, super effective, Doug Trio's gone. Carmelian's 21. Uh, Rhydon, okay. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I get it. You can ride on him. No, or can you? I don't know if you can. <laughs> can you? Who knows? He's level 50. Ice Beam. Maybe this won't take him out, but this is sure a good start. It did take him out. Good. Giovanni. Are you the gym leader, Giovanni? You're still... I don't even know what to think of this situation. Alright. Uh, no, just keep battling. Keep battling. Things are fine. Everything's fine. Got her swimsuit on. Ice Beam. I'm just using Ice Beam. Yeah, I still need to get two more legendary Pokemon, and I'm not sure where to do that, so you guys gotta let me know. I could always look him up. Just like I googled where uh, where the Route 5, the daycare thing was. Alright, Nido King! Fancy, right? Got the Queen out. We get Now here comes the King. You got a whole bunch of royalty in your pocket. All right, there we go. Let's just uh, ice beam him again. Hopefully he's gone. It must be, ah, uh, you know, it must be gender-based evolutions, right? That's it's just my complete guess. I don't know. All right, there we go. Carmillion's 22. Giovanni, I got you. Were you the gym leader, dude? Yeah, gym leader Giovanni. That was truly, that was a truly intense fight. I can't believe it. I can't believe he's a gym leader. I, I actually thought it was gonna be like one of my mentors. Maybe he's like my evil mentor, you know? Like the guy who, like in Karate Kid 3. <laughs> Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here is your Earth badge. Well, he's he keeps his word. You gotta like that about a bad guy, you know? Because bad guys don't have to be good, ever. They don't have to follow rules. So he's like kind of like lawful evil in a way. Or maybe lawful neutral. We don't know for sure he's evil. He sounds evil. You got an Earth badge from Giovanni. An Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey you, regardless of how high their level is or who originally caught them. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League and this TM. A gift for a trainer who dares take on the challenge of the Pokemon League. 
I got Earthquake. <laughs> it's a good move. But my guy has it. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor to deal damage to opponents. I made it a very long time ago, back when I ran this gym far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is, as of today, Team Rocket is finished. Are you sure about that? As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. Okay, see ya. Can I have some fruit? <laughs> Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Pretty cool guy. Can I sit here? Hold on, Pikachu wants to tell me something. He's like, dude, you did it. Us two cops busted in and got him. Uh, exhausted from how nervous. Hey, don't worry, dude. Don't be nervous. We got uh, some pets on your nose. Some pets on your head. There we go. Alright, let's just... <laughs> I'm just gonna steal some fruit. <laughs> I can't steal any fruit. This place still looks like an evil lair, though. Is there anything behind here that'd be so cool? No. Well, 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 I have all the badges. Now it's time to go challenge everybody. Oh, wrong. Oh, here, this way is the way to go. All right, I did it. Everyone celebrate my victory. That just blew my mind. Giovanni was the gym leader of Viridian City? It was too dark to tell. <laughs> All right. Blew my mind a little bit. I mean, yeah, it did. I, I thought we'd have like a face-off with him, but I, I didn't know. Hey, Blue says, congrats, kid. Boy, though, what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. Well, he was using that uh, the arcade too, right? That's it. I've decided. I'll look after the Viridian City gym from now on. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they ask about it, but I'm finally ready. I'll be a gym leader from now on. I want to battle you. Huh? Uh, I mean, sure, but I think you've got a bigger challenge to face right now. So then, Z-Dog, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here and you won't miss it. The Elite Four are tough opponents, but don't you dare lose. Before that, though, I'm going to have to go get the other legendary Pokemon, aren't I? Route 5, uh, looking in the bag, so I can go get the whatever I left there. I think it was a Clefairy. Route 5. <laughs> I don't know where the routes are. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to travel to Cerulean City, and then go south. Hopefully run into the daycare, gather my belongs. And then next episode, we'll go search out some more uh, legendary Pokemon. Uh, was I supposed to go south? I think so. Well, no, as soon as I go south, because it'll tell me, like, hey, you're at Route 5. And I'll be like, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, um, what the heck? Okay, here it is. Chop down. Thank you. Chop, 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 chop it down. Ooh, jeez. Okay, there could be some calamity. There it is. Found it. Here we go. So what do they have for me? I don't even remember. I think it was a Clefairy. I'm here to pick up my Pokemon. I run the Yeah, what would you like to do? Uh, pick up my Pokemon. Oh, okay. Levels increased by around 22. Okay, sure. Take him out. Yes. He's mine again. All right. By the way, your Pokemon found this. What a rare candy. Okay, good for him. Okay, yeah, so she'll raise more Pokemon. So, look at my bag really quick. Clefairy, um... I mean... 34? I mean, that's not a big deal, right? Anyway. So far, I think uh, my, my party's shaping up to be pretty good. But hey, we gotta get a couple more legendary Pokemon. So expect those for the next couple episodes. Um, and then I'll head west. And I don't know, let, let me know how to structure my episodes. Like, how long is it going to take me to take on the Elite Four? Like, if I go west, is it, is it going to throw anything else at me? Let's look at the map. You know what I mean? Like, if I go west, it looks like I'm going to hit uh, a path. Route 23, then Victory Road, and then Indigo Plateau. So let me know how long it is to go from here to the end of the game. Because I need to know how to structure the video. Like, is it one big episode? Is it two episodes? Let me know in the comments below. I gotta go find more Pokemon. Somewhere. I don't know where. One of them was here in the power plant. One of them was uh, down over here, I think. Seafoam Islands. I don't see anything else on the map. 
I don't know. But I'll read your comments. <laughs> Goodbye, and thanks for watching. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching, check out these other awesome videos, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, join my Discord, and if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.